The last thing I'll touch up on real quick is Pinball FX 2 and 3. Um, the easiest way to get your buttons recognized is to use this, the X360CE program. Um, as you can see, I'm using the 32-bit version for FX3. Basically, you launch the program. You're going to make sure that your actual program is in your folder for FX3. And then you basically map it accordingly. So you literally could see I'm hitting my left. And as you can see on mine, for example, um, because it is FX3 to navigate the menu, I have it also set to the D-pad. So left flipper is the left trigger and I have it set to right D-pad. Um, if I do left magna save, it's my left bumper, which basically jumps up on the screen. If I do right flipper, I use it as the down to navigate on the D-pad and it's also the right trigger. My right magna save is my right bumper. Start is B, I have it set to back. I have my launch ball set to A, that's my enter. Uh, extra ball is set to Y, that's really for um, in menu. Um, my insert coin is set to X, and my exit button is set to start. So just to kind of show you guys my breakout as far as FX3. Um, so again, when you do launch FX3 on my table, you do not need a keyboard and mouse to navigate. So I'm actually gonna launch it just to show you guys how it looks. And again, we do have full screen on it. Keep on with the volume. So like, as you can see here, I do get this error. Uh, basically it says there to, to cancel its B. So I'm gonna press the start button. Uh, A to continue, that's my launch ball button. So I can ignore her, I can press the start button for B. Now while I'm here, if I use the left flipper, it's going right on the D-pad. So I can go single player, launch ball button. While I'm here now, as you can see, we do have the collections here. My left flipper, I'm able to go left and right. So as you can see, I'm kind of stuck here. I can now go with the right flipper down. If I hit left magna save, it brings me basically up the next one. So left magna save brings me actually to the front left, the first one. So if I wanted to go down to Adventureland, I'm gonna hit the right flipper. Um, right magna save basically brings me down a menu. So left flipper, left magna save brings me up. Right magna save brings me down. That again is the left and right um, front. I think that's called the bumper. And again, my left flipper will bring me to the right. I'm actually gonna bring it down so you can see it better. If I wanted to go back here, I have to basically go up on the um, category and then down again. And now I'm here. So if I want to go to Gophers, I'm using the right flipper to go down. If I want to go to Safe Cracker, I'm going to use left, left, left. So that's how I have it set up. I definitely wanted to set it up where I don't need a keyboard and mouse to set it up. All right, so I figured I'll give you an actual in front cabinet view navigating FX3. So as you can see, press A to continue, that's my launch button. Right here, I can press no thanks, that's my start. So it's just about you remembering what button you did. So again, left flipper brings me to the right, which honestly, you could kind of swap it to make it easier, you could do right flipper, but I have it set like that. I'm not, you know, I program myself for it. Uh, right flipper brings you down. So as you can see, I'm able to go down using the right flipper. So the cool thing with FX2 and 3 is when you are all the way at the bottom of the menu, going down brings you back up to the top. So let's get ready. I'm gonna go down, I'm on tournament, I wanna go to single player, left button, button A, or I should say launch button. So now here, I'm gonna bring it down so you can see us. Yeah, we're here, see? So again, right button, brings me down, left button brings me to the right. So now the big thing about here is that I, I can't go right anymore, it won't bring me to the left. Um, let's go down, let's go down, let's do it like with Marvel to navigate, right? So I'm under Doctor Strange. For me to go to Guardians, I can't, I'm kind of stuck. So what do we do? I hit the right, Magna Save will bring me down a menu, or I can hit left Magna Save, brings me up to the top left. Now I can go down, 
right. So again, I'm using the magnet saves to jump the category. So I could go down if I want, brings me to the next category using the right magnet save. That's the one up top, not the bottom, the top. Uh, if I do left, it'll bring me up. So if I want to go to Moon Knight, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, one, two. So again, those are the flippers there. So again, if I'm stuck, let's say I'm stuck here, but I want to go here, I could go up magnet save or a down, up, and then bring it just like that. So again, it's just kind of something where you kind of program yourself to figure everything out on. Um, we'll do like Son of Zeus. So I'll launch Son of Zeus using launch button. So real quick before we launch the table, you can see the bottom here, we have a couple of options. So X button for me is my coin. I now added that table to my favorites. I could remove it by pressing coin again. And then there's more info, which is the extra ball button. She, that's really like pointless for this. If I go into Son of Zeus launch ball, and as you can see here, like I can go down, I can go down, but now I can't go up. So I have to go back. I have to press the start button, which is B. I can go back to launch, and then launch again. And here you can do the single player, we'll launch again. So now as you can see, we can launch the table here. We do have doff links on this. So we have our ball, I forgot to mention about the plunger. So it's not at like virtual pinball or it's just, yeah, it's not like visual pinball X, but basically once I pull all the way back, you kind of see that it does show off. So again, the actual plunger works or I do have launch ball set which is the A. We already lost the ball. So again, I do have Dolph Links on FX3. This table is not really that attractive, to be honest. <laughs> So now while you're here in the game, I believe it's Y, um, you could change the camera view. Yes, so my coin button, as you can see, we are changing camera views. So I could launch the ball, let's say. And it's something you gotta really kind of play with the ball to see which way you like it. Like you could see the table kind of moves. I don't like this view because it kind of doesn't feel like real pinball. Um, I'm not a fan of that view. I usually leave it at one. Uh, I'll do like camera seven. It kind of like zooms in more on the ball. So again, Doff links on this. So, view one, uh, it's either view one or view two I usually use. Uh, depending on the table, sometimes you do see the um, actual ball launch spot. Um, so the big thing right now, as you can see like game over, I wanna exit, I actually press my exit button here, which is pause or start. So from here I could use my right to navigate, as you can see. We could even do some table guides or options. I'm gonna go to exit. Launch button, it brings me back. I'm gonna go back, we're gonna press start. Gonna press start. And now we can do a different table. So if I want to do, it's actually very fun, the Family Guy one. Um, I could even do Bob's Burgers. Dofflinks right now, as you can see, it's kind of spazzing out because Dofflinks is not really meant to run like this. It's really meant to like launch with the actual game uh, inside of a front end. So I'll launch this real quick. So I'm gonna start a new game, button B. So it kind of strobes out and everything. So again, I got my plunger. See, this one has like a lot of stuff going on on the table at least, it's a little bit more nicer. And as you can see with the view, it's a good view. You have the actual, you know, plunger, uh, ball launch area. I can bring it down a little bit, one more time. 
Some people do like this. I originally started like this. This really had like a top view, as you could see. And try to hold the ball. Let's try this one. See, like I'm not a fan of when the, the camera moves. It just doesn't feel real to me. I'm not a fan of it. Let's go one more time. Same thing, the camera still moves, not a fan. That one really the camera moves. Same thing, camera still moving. This is view seven. See? Yeah, see, like I'm just not a fan of when the camera moves. This is view one. View one really has a, a big apron on it, as you can see. So we can launch the ball. I could use the launch ball button again, doesn't have to be the plunger. Apron is very, very big on this one, as you can see. So if I bring it down, one more maybe. This goes overhead. Again, it's your preference. This is a pretty good actual height. Um, it's just like your characters are literally overhead. So this is really a real kind of overhead view like a regular pinball table would be. Uh, if I do view one, you kind of got a nice little angle on them. You kind of see stuff. It's cool. You got to play around with it. I'm tired. I'm bored. Exit button. Bring it down. Exit. Good. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Exit. Done. There you have it. One last quick note again with FX3 and Dofflinks. You do need to have Dofflinks running. This has to be on. This actual program must be on and then you run FX3 for you to run all your Dofflinks stuff. So you have to make sure Dofflinks is running.